people, welcome back to some more Pokemon Black and White 2. Um, in this video, we're about to battle our rival. So, here we go. So we're going to be battling Hugh for the second time. He's going to start off with a Oshawa, which is his only Pokemon. Now, outside of the walkthrough, I trained a Tepig up to level 10. So, um, he's a little bit stronger now. Now, um, in this part, um, let me see here. This is the part where I start speeding up the battles and stuff because... Um, since people said cut out battles like I did in my previous walkthroughs, I mean, I'll show them, but they'll just be shown set up because I don't really like wasting time, and, uh, that's just how I do things, so, they'll just be sped up with music like, uh, mystery dun my mystery dungeon walkthroughs are, so that's good. Uh, I'll be able to cover a lot more within one part. Not bad. You're thinking about how to bring out your Pokemon's strength. I should be able to count on you for backup. What are you doing here anyway? The town map. Yes, we're gonna hand him over the town map and everything, so... Yeah. <clears throat> so this is the owner of the ranch. We're gonna get ourselves a potion. And he gets one as well. So. To Herdier, or Herdier, however you say that. So we have to find them. Or one of them at least. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're free to move around here, so let's go. Now, uh, yeah, I'm gonna speed this battle up. see if there's anything here but not sure yeah all right well now that that's out of the way we have to go and get that item and a wild battle all right you find yourself a pokeball right here Now let's continue. Did her deer were wandering around somewhere?
Great. Tepic is paralyzed now. And, uh, <laughs> conveniently, your rival's gonna give you a paralyzed heal. So, uh, if that Marie paralyzed your starter, or whatever Pokemon you have, uh, you can heal it up with that. Which is always good. So, yeah, let's just do that. And, uh, yeah, there you go. So, uh, let's continue. And we have another battle. Okay, um, now if you go down here, you'll find yourself an X attack, so like during the battle, you can raise your Pokemon's attack stat a bit, so they could, they'll do more damage with physical attacks, and, alright, now before we go, Right here, you can find yourself a potion. And... This is interesting. <clears throat> you little pest. I'm a member of a group that strikes fear into the hearts of those who stand before a Team Plasma. Ever heard of it? Yeah, actually I have. That's right, we're the righteous group that tried to conquer Unova two years back in order to liberate Pokemon. Fools will never understand us. First I got lost chasing Herdier, now some nosy kid caught me. All of this is your fault, take this. So out of nowhere, he's just gonna give you TM21 frustration. So pretty much the more your Pokemon dislikes you, the more damage it does. So it's like the complete opposite of the move return. So yeah, um, I don't really like frustration though. I mean, I like Return better because, I mean, it's better when they, when you increase the friendship because it's just, you know, easier, you know, while training and everything. <clears throat> but yeah, so we got their Pokemon back. And I still don't know how to pronounce its name, Herdier or, or Dyer, however you say it. Or Herdier, I'm really not sure. But it really doesn't matter because I'm not using it. <laughs> so yeah. Alright, now there are a few battles in this like part that are gonna be like kind of like required in a way, so I'll show them since they're really not that long to begin with. And I'll show the gym battles as well. Um like no the trainer battles in the gym because they you know it's really short, so why not? Alright, so let's go. Route 20. <clears throat> Back to Flocacy Town. And uh, here's Alder. Yes, yeah. Uh, Tepic's definitely a little bit stronger. Um, now, before we go in there, we're just going to heal up. So you definitely don't want to go into, like, any battles with less than full HP, because you never know what could happen. You could, like, just get a cheap critical hit, and then your Pokemon's done, and it's over. And I only have one, so I gotta prepare for anything. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, in this part, we're pretty much going to be covering all the way up to the gym leader, and then in the next part, I'll be battling the gym leader. You know how I do it. I don't really like showing trainer battles in the same part with the gym leader, because I feel like gym battles are important, so they should have their own part. But that's just how I do my walkthroughs, if you didn't know that already. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. The only difference right now is that I speed up the battles, but it doesn't really matter. Um, but this battle, I'm not gonna speed up because I guess I can say it's kind of required and, you know, like with Alder and everything, so I might as well show it. And it's really not that hard. I mean, it's a level 3 Pan Sage. I mean, I mean, well, no, not level 3, uh, level 9. <laughs> Sorry. Um. And that's it. So we took down the school kid. See, it's not really that that difficult, so there's really no need to speed it up. Um, the reason I want to speed up battles is because in the future, like when the battles get more lengthy and they could be more of a challenge, I don't really want to waste time. Because then my videos will probably be like near an hour long or something. And I really do not want that unless it's absolutely necessary. Um, so yeah, we're going to battle this trainer. But since this is the beginning of the game and everything, the trainer battles are pretty short, so you can take them down pretty quickly. <laughs> Alright, um, this is a pan pour and it's a water type, so it could be a little bit more of an issue. So I'm going to lower its defense with Tail Whip, so that way uh, Tackle will do more damage than normal. Critical hit, but it really didn't do much. <laughs> and uh, that's it. And I got a critical hit. All right, level 13. Not bad. Defense curl. That'll actually be kind of useful for the next, like you know, for the upcoming gym. So why not? I'll use it for now. Take away order sleuth. And. There you go, we took down the school kid. <clears throat> yeah, so Alder's just gonna be explaining the type matchups and things like that. The Pokemon uses a move that matches its type, its move will become more powerful, yeah. So, uh, so basically if a Fire-type Pokemon uses a Fire-type move, that Fire-type move would do more damage than if a Normal-type Pokemon used it or something. I know this is sudden, but nice to meet you. Now don't say anything, just take this. Alright, so this weird guy is going to give you the Metal Box, and uh, this is Mr. Metal. By the way, do you know a competition called the Metal Rally? Uh, no I don't. <laughs> <clears throat> the Metal Rally is an event that evaluates various activities of trainers, so in commemoration of your participation, take this medal. The First Step Medal, okay, and here's some help for the Metal Rally, it'll give you Hint Medals too. So we've gotten six Hint Medals, and if you meet their conditions, you'll find more medals, and just talk to this guy inside the uh, Pokemon Center. Alright, well, uh, that's interesting. Newly opened Pokemon Gym in Espresso City. And a new gym leader has arrived. Yeah, so Alder's gonna recommend that you go to the Pokemon Gym, which is exactly what we're gonna do. <laughs> There's really nothing else left. <laughs> so, uh... Out of nowhere, he's back on the cliff. I mean, that's pretty fast, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> he got he forgot to tell us something important. So uh, Alder's gonna give us some orange berries, which uh will heal up your Pokemon a bit if you give it to them. Yeah, they'll be able to hold it. And during the battle, if your HP is a little bit low, um, the orange berry will heal you up. 
Not completely, but something. Pretty much gonna recommend that we take on the gym leaders of each city and all that good stuff. Which is something you pretty much already know what to do because this is Pokemon after all. It's, it's like the main point. Um, Alright, so I'm gonna give. Okay, we got five orange berries, not bad. I'm gonna give Tepig an orange berry. <laughs> and now. We're gonna be going to Aspersia City. Alright, Aspersia City. Now before we go to the gym, actually, wait, let's just... Um, so, uh... Aspersia City, Pokemon, Gym Leader, Charon, One Who Seeks the Truth, and all that stuff. Charon. Very interesting. Same guy that was in uh, the first black and white game, but uh... I'm guessing he's the Gym Leader. <clears throat> You're gonna, this guy's gonna give you an X Defend. Um, which will raise your defense during the battle. Pretty interesting, but I won't be using that on my team since I already have a Pokemon that will become a, um, a fighting type in its uh, next evolution, and of course in the final evolution. <laughs> like I said, people, I always stick with the fire type when it comes to my starters, so that really shouldn't be a surprise. I don't like changing it up because fire is just my thing. Alright, uh, this is Clyde. Uh, Clyde's gonna give you a fresh water. Pretty much always does. <clears throat> Which can actually be useful this early in the game. You must be a challenger. Welcome to Aspersia City's Pokemon Gym. I'm Charon the Gym Leader. Well, maybe I'll... I'd better say that. Um, well. Let's just continue. Basically, uh, Charon's back. Two years uh, prior, and uh, in order to battle him, we're gonna have to battle the trainers in his gym. Nothing really that difficult. So uh, I'm gonna show these battles since it's the gym trainer battle, so why not? Um, See, so, um, yeah, youngster Pedro, Pedro, yeah, okay, Patrat at level nine. Just gonna use Ember, and I've got a critical hit, so not bad. And that's it for Patra. Just gonna send in Lily Pup now. Uh, it's burned. That's actually pretty interesting. Um, that's it for Lily Pop. <clears throat> All right. One battle down. Only one more left, and then we'll take on the gym leader in the next part. Last arena. Gonna send out the Lily Pop. So uh, yeah, this is a normal type gym if you didn't guess already. <laughs> like really, so they use normal type Pokemon. So uh 
going to use Ember. And, uh, I guess a Scorch is going to eat the Orange Berry. Yeah, see, that's pretty much what happens when your HP gets low and everything. You have a berry on you or whatever type of item that you can and stuff. Except for leftovers. Leftovers will just keep on healing you, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, Patrad. Just gonna use Ember. And that's it. Alright, uh, yeah, can we beat Charon? Well, uh, we're gonna find out if we can beat him in the next part, but I'm pretty sure I can, but still. So, uh, yeah, next time we're gonna be battling the Aspersia City Gym Leader Charon. So, uh, before I battle him, I'm just gonna heal up. And, uh, because he definitely, it's a Gym Leader, so you definitely wanna do that. Always heal up before you take on a gym leader unless you're like 100% sure that you'll destroy him. But in my case, I just want to heal up just, you know, like, yeah, because you never know if he gets like some sort of critical hit or something. So yeah, um, Mr. Metal here is going to give you a medal. And, uh... Yeah, okay, so we're going to go back. And, uh, here we are. So that's it, people. Stay tuned for more, people. Stay tuned for more. The next battle is gonna be Charon.